Are there tapes that you accepted bribes, President Biden? Is that true? Would you comment on the arrest of the former president, sir? That was President Joe Biden there laughing off a reporter's question at the White House. The reporter managed to get Joe Biden's attention when he was walking past the media, where the journalist quickly asked whether there were any tapes recorded of him accepting bribes. Biden turns around and laughs at the question, shaking his head before continuing to walk away. This was all in reference to the fact that yesterday Senator Chuck Grassley spoke on the Senate floor where he made an interesting comment regarding the FBI-generated FD-1023 form, which dates back to June 2020. He said that within the form, which has allegations made by one of the FBI's highly credible informants, Joe Biden could have accepted a bribe from a Ukrainian gas executive when he was the vice president. The executive, who allegedly bribed Joe Biden and his son Hunter, according to the document, could have proof of conversations. The foreign national who allegedly bribed Joe and Hunter Biden allegedly has audio recordings of his conversation with them. 17 such recordings. These recordings were allegedly kept as a sort of insurance policy for the foreign national in case that he got into a tight spot. In case you missed it, this document that the FBI have in their possession alleges that Joe Biden pocketed $5 million by a foreign national in exchange for sharing government policy decisions while he served under the Obama administration. It has now been alleged by sources that have reviewed the document, which hasn't been made public, that the foreign national is a Ukrainian executive who worked for Burisma Holdings. And then you have Senator Grassley claiming that there's reason to believe the executive has in his possession voicemails between he and Hunter and he and Joe Biden. Burisma Holdings is the Ukrainian gas company that Hunter Biden was paid millions of dollars to sit on the board of. He was reportedly paid $1 million a year and, according to invoices from his now infamous laptop, was paid over $83,000 a month. However, from May 2017, after Joe Biden was no longer the vice president, Hunter Biden's monthly invoices from Burisma were reduced to $41,000. According to Senator Grassley's statements on the floor, VP Joe Biden may have been involved in Burisma employing Hunter Biden. That's despite the fact the president has claimed that he has never spoken to his son about his overseas business deals. Sources last week told Fox News that these bribery allegations are to do with a Ukrainian executive who was seeking the advice from the Bidens on gaining US oil rights and getting involved with a US oil company. The source claimed to Fox that the Burisma executive paid both Joe Biden and Hunter Biden $5 million each as some kind of retainer to deal with a number of issues, including a probe led by a Ukrainian prosecutor, Viktor Shokin, who was investigating the gas company. Fox also reported that these $5 million payments to both Bidens were done through various bank accounts so that investigators would not be able to unravel this for at least 10 years. Since these allegations have come to light in the last week or so, Republican lawmakers have been seeking accountability from the Biden family. Not only did Senator Marsha Blackburn request the Attorney General assign a special counsel to investigate the President's family, but the Deputy FBI Director was probed today at the House Judiciary Committee over what the Bureau knows. Texas Senator Ted Cruz didn't hold back in his line of questioning today. Deputy Director Abadi, is it true that the FBI has a report making those allegations? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that, Senator. And why is that? I'm just not going to comment on uh, information we've received, investigations. Do you owe an matters. obligation to the American people to be candid about evidence of corruption by the President of the United States? This is uh, an area that I'm not going to get into with you, Senator. Deputy Director Abate, does the FBI have 17 voice recordings laying out evidence of a bribery scheme? Senator, I'd add all, I would add also that uh, we've worked with the House Oversight Committee. Yeah, this is the Senate. The We're the other side of the Capitol. This is the Senate. Do you have those 17 recordings? I'm not going to comment on any investigation.